um, like I said, branding is an ongoing process. Yep. And uh, there's a lot of service providers out there like uh, for that, that, that does work that contributes to the overall branding, right? So if you're really, uh, you know, cash, uh, I mean, strapped for cash, you, there's a lot of things that you can invest in terms of your time uh, to learn, to yeah. learn to build yeah. stuff. Um, I think the access to creative services has been democratized. So you have things like Canvas, hey, Canvas, sorry, Canvas, Squarespace for websites, Wix even, uh, although I would, I would recommend Squarespace for Wix. Uh, there's a lot of access uh, so and, and even like doing Facebook advertising is, is being made so simple nowadays uh, Google Ads and all that so it's whether you want to hire somebody to do it or do it yourself but from a branding point of view I would I would uh, urge these business owners to uh, read up a bit on, on branding mm-hmm. understand that branding is not just about your logo your colors all this superficial stuff mm-hmm. those are important because those are symbols of what you stand for Mm-hmm. And if you get those wrong or me- messed up, you people cannot penetrate into what you are actually about. Mm-hmm. Right? If you look at it, uh, branding as an iceberg, for example, yep. uh, your your logos, your colors, your messaging, your tone of voice, those are at the top, at the mm-hmm. little part that people see. But if if that's messed up, right, or if it's sunk or anything, people cannot even identify uh, who you are, and they will miss out that whole chunk of. Uh, ident- I mean, brand that you have, uh, which is which goes a lot deeper. Uh, goes down to your purpose as well. Mm-hmm. Goes down to why you're doing this. And it is only when people understand that ethos, eh, that you make a stronger connection. Um, look at, I mean, I just give an example of of Apple. And this is a brand that I strongly feel towards. Like everything I see around me is Apple, and I have. Um, <laughs> There's, there's a reason why I, I, I'm all for Apple. The first, if I look at my user journey or experience, and I was first introduced to Apple from my uh, lecturer in university. He, he keeps, he has this Mac head, you know, Apple head kind of guy, uh, vibe. Uh. So when people come to him with problems, yeah, what are you using? Uh, a Dell PC, get a Mac. That's his line. <laughs> so I'm like, so frustrated. I hated Apple people back like then. And then I joined this uh, Silk Road company, right? My boss is a Apple head or you know, a Mac head. Uh. So he, everything, he, he, his quote that I want to say is, I will buy anything that comes out of Mr. Jobs' table. <laughs> so he will buy anything that is Apple related. Uh, he gifted me uh, my first iPod. Uh, I think my first uh, iPhone also, if I'm not wrong. And ever since then, uh, I... I the, the the introduction into the the, the company brand uh, is not through the company or the advertising or anything. No. It is through the thinking and the um, how how these people behave and and think about things that make me think that these people are very visionaries and amazing and I respect them and they use Apple. Why? Because Apple represents what they believe, which is use. I mean, yeah, they got quality products and all that. But I'm using this stuff to change the world. I'm using this stuff to, to change the status quo. And that's something that resonates with me. And it's stuck, it's stuck on our, our audio until today. So right. again, right. it's the, the meat of it that you need to communicate to people, which you will never get if you don't get the top part right.